of objects to solve simple addition and subtraction problems. They solve problems by counting all the objects. Let's do addition by joining two sets. If you see two ducks inside the pond and four ducks outside the pond, how many ducks will that be all together? together by joining two sets. At the second stage, students recognize that it is not necessary to count sets. Instead of counting objects from one, they begin their count from the last number of one of the sets. They can then count on from this number to solve addition problems. Now let's do addition by counting on. If you have 7 books and then you are given 5 more, how many will you have all together? 7 8 9 10 11 12 There are 12 books all together by counting on. We can also add by counting ahead on a number line. We always move right to add. The students are taught to start counting from the first number and move forward by jumping as many times as the second number. Now let's do addition by using number line. If there is one frog in the pond, three more jumped in. Now how many frogs are there all together? The students are taught to find the unknown by balancing both the edges of the scale balance. Finally, let's do addition by using balance model. How well you can balance with addition. 7 plus 5 equals 12. What number should be added in 8, to make a sum of 12? Eight plus four equals 12. We will come back with models of other operations in upcoming videos. So, stay tuned.